prepare to have your understanding of ancient history shattered. We've all seen the imposing megaliths, but what if they've been trying to tell us something profound for thousands of years? Through a revolutionary application of artificial intelligence, the long-silent Ogham inscriptions are finally speaking, delivering shocking revelations that will fundamentally change how we view our ancestors and their world. For centuries, these silent giants have held secrets. Today, AI begins to speak for them. Across windswept landscapes stand towering stones, their surfaces carved with lines that have confused and fascinated experts for generations. These are Ogham inscriptions, marks that appear simple at first glance, yet hide an extraordinary depth of meaning. Ogham is one of the earliest known writing systems in the British Isles. Instead of curved letters or ornate symbols, it uses straight strokes carved along the edge of a stone. Some inscriptions appear to record names, but others seem far more complex, hinting at lost histories, rituals, or warnings. Many of these stones stand isolated in remote regions, far from ancient settlements, often near burial grounds or aligned with celestial events. Their context is as mysterious as their message. The challenge with Ogham is not just its age, but its fragility. Weather erosion blurs strokes, cracks distort meaning, and entire sections have vanished. Traditional archaeology has long struggled to interpret these damaged inscriptions with confidence. Human researchers simply can't see what's no longer visible. As a result, many inscriptions remained puzzling fragments of a forgotten language. Scholars knew Ogham had to contain more information than simple memorials, but the limited number of surviving examples made deeper analysis nearly impossible until now. A breakthrough came when researchers applied advanced machine learning to this ancient script. They developed a neural model specifically designed for low-resource, ancient languages. This AI doesn't rely on traditional translation dictionaries. Instead, it analyzes high-resolution imagery, compares micro-patterns in the stone, and reconstructs the original markings in incredible detail. Where humans see cracks and erosion, the AI sees statistical patterns and stroke angles too subtle for the human eye. It can rebuild the inscription as it once looked, not as it appears today. Beyond simply identifying letters, the AI analyzes grammar, linguistic patterns, and contextual clues across multiple stones at once. It identifies recurring structures, potential verb forms, ceremonial phrases, and even hints of regional dialects. In doing so, it reveals Ogham as a fully developed language with nuance, rhythm, and complexity, far more than anyone expected. To train this model, researchers fed it an enormous amount of data. It learned from 3D scans that capture microscopic details. It studied rare medieval manuscripts that reference Ogham. It compared structures across Celtic languages. It incorporated topographical information from the original sites and even environmental impact data that helps it understand how erosion may have changed the stones. Through this process, the AI not only learned the symbols, it learned the world in which the symbols existed. When the first translations emerged, researchers were stunned inscriptions long believed to contain only names were discovered to hold entire sentences. Some stones referenced seasonal cycles and astronomical events, suggesting that the people who carved them observed the sky with far more precision than previously assumed. One inscription reads, When the longest night rises, remember the path of the ancestors. This suggests ceremonial or ritual significance tied to solstice events. Another stone appears to contain what may be the earliest recorded boundary agreement in the region, describing land responsibilities and lineage obligations. These discoveries challenge existing theories. Many believed Ogham developed long after the construction of megalithic monuments, but the references within the inscriptions 
imply a continuity of ritual knowledge stretching back further than assumed. If confirmed, this could reshape the timeline of early Celtic culture and its relationship with the megalithic world. Yet as more inscriptions were processed, even more surprising messages surfaced. One stone positioned along a ridge, near what was once believed to be a ceremonial pathway, revealed a phrase that translates to, follow the ridge where the sun first awakens. There the stones remember. This suggests that ancient travelers might have followed solar alignments during specific rituals, moving across landscapes intentionally shaped by both geography and cosmology. A nearby stone found close to a burial site yielded a haunting message. Let no name fade, for in memory the living bind the fallen to the earth. This inscription offers a rare glimpse into the emotional world of these ancient communities. It implies that remembrance was not just a cultural duty. It was a sacred act that bound generations together. On another site, where archaeologists once suspected astronomical observation, the AI deciphered a message tied to lunar activity. Count the nights of the wandering moon, for her silence marks the turning of the year. This finding points to a sophisticated lunar calendar system, suggesting that the creators of these inscriptions tracked celestial cycles with remarkable accuracy. One of the most unusual inscriptions recovered by the AI appears to be a practical warning. Where the water thins, beware the shifting ground. This line indicates the stones may have served not only ceremonial or memorial functions, but also practical guidance for travelers or community members, marking dangerous terrain or unstable earth. With these new translations, archaeologists began to see a dramatically different picture of ancient life. These messages imply a system of knowledge far richer than previously believed. A fusion of astronomy, ritual, memory, navigation, and community law. The stones were not isolated monuments. They were part of a larger network of information, inscribed into the landscape itself. The implications ripple far beyond Ireland and Britain. If Ogham contains references to celestial events and seasonal cycles, it may indicate that these cultures possessed astronomical knowledge comparable to or even predating other ancient civilizations. These insights could push back our understanding of intellectual development in prehistoric Europe and force historians to reconsider long-held assumptions about who held knowledge, how it was preserved, and how it was passed on. The discovery of emotionally charged inscriptions also challenges the stereotype of ancient peoples as pragmatically focused or purely survival-driven. These were individuals deeply connected to ideas of legacy memory, and identity. The phrase, I carve this for the ones not yet born, is not just poetic, it's almost prophetic. It reveals a people who understood the permanence of stone and the fleeting nature of life, and who carved messages intended for distant generations. Additionally, the identification of potential linguistic similarities to continental languages raises questions about early migration routes. If confirmed, these links could support theories of cultural exchange long before the commonly accepted timelines. Trade, travel, or shared ritual knowledge may have bound distant communities together across vast landscapes. As for the megaliths, the new translations breathe life into the idea that these structures were far more than tombs or ceremonial markers. They may have been waypoints in a broader spiritual landscape synchronized with celestial events, and encoded with instructions, warnings, and reflections carved into the stones standing beside them. The builders might have understood the land as a vast interconnected system where stones communicated not just with the people, but with the sky itself. This kind of AI analysis could revolutionize the study of other undeciphered scripts as well. Future applications may help unlock the mysteries of Linear A, the Indus script, Rongorongo, 
or Pictish symbols. What humanity once thought was lost forever may soon be rediscovered. But even with this technological breakthrough, mysteries remain. Some inscriptions are so damaged that even the AI can only guess at their meaning. Others contain symbols or structures that defy existing linguistic models. New questions arise. Were there multiple dialects of Ogham? Did different regions encode different traditions? Were some stones intended for ritual specialists and others for everyday travelers? The stones speak, but not all in the same voice. And this is where human interpretation remains essential. AI can extract patterns, reconstruct carvings, and propose translations. But only archaeologists, linguists, and historians can understand cultural context. The future of archaeology depends on this collaboration. Technology providing clarity, humans providing meaning. If you're curious to dive deeper into these discoveries, stay tuned for more content on the mysteries of ancient scripts, and let us know in the comments what ancient enigmas you'd like us to explore next. The stones have begun to speak, and their dialogue with the present has only just begun. If you enjoyed this journey, consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us continue uncovering the forgotten voices of the ancient world.